Hey, what's up? Arvin here. Last week, we talked about how to set up our color wheel using Krita. Today, we're going to be talking about how do we set up the brushes in Krita and just do some exercises with the brushes just to kind of get familiar with how the tools work. So, let's get started. Hey, what's up? Arvin here. Welcome to Driven to Draw, where I teach you how to be more creative and reduce your stress through the very act of drawing and painting. Last week, we talked about using Krita and how we set up our color wheel. And this week, we're going to be talking about how to use the brushes in Krita and just do some exercises. Now, of course, if you like this kind of content to learn how to draw and digitally paint and then use traditional paints, be sure to subscribe to this channel. All these videos that you're seeing right now are actually part of my premium course, which is Introduction to Digital Painting Using Free Software like Krita. So I hope you really enjoy this, and if you want to know a little bit more about the course, you'll see another video here at the end. That said, let's get it on! Okay, now before we get into any other examples, I'm going to go through a quick demonstration of some of the brushes and what it is that they do. Uh, the majority of the brushes we're going to use uh, in the tutorials that we're going to go through in, in this course are going to be really just simple ones, but I do want to highlight the power of and the, uh, the power of some of these awesome brushes that you can use. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to uh, my settings here. I'm going to go to my brush presets and I'm just going to select digital. I'm just going to go through some of the different kinds of things that you can use. So we've got one really important must-have is an airbrush. So once again I'm going to just go with my size of my brush and I'm just going to increase the diameter of my brush and this is what it looks like when you're using an airbrush as you would expect anything that's a soft gradation something that you would need when you are painting something or a large area uh, this is where if I want softer tones or some small gradation and something that's really smooth I would start using these airbrushes Let's just select going in on top of it. it. Everything blends really well. It's easy to use. So if you don't have an airbrush at home, this is the another power of having digital tools and then having a pressure sensitive pen that allows you uh, a varying degree of being able to apply light to dark values using uh, these digital pens. So now if I press a little bit harder, you can see that I'm filling the entire area with that uh, particular value or that, that hue. So the lighter I go, it's going to be lighter, right? And then the darker or the harder I press, it's going to get to that saturated level, the full saturation of my selection here. So I go a little bit darker. Uh, let's maybe go to... A bluer tone and go on top so you can sort of gradate that out too when you're blending which is kind of nice I'm gonna take it off of digital and we're gonna to go to sketch this is like my favorite ones here so I'm going to go to my layers I'm gonna delete this layer clear that and then add a new layer go back to my brush presets and then I'm going to pick uh, charcoal. So I like this. This this is a large pencil, 4B, so it's going to be pretty dark. So if we're going to use dark, we're going to go with on the gray side. Let's see what that looks like. So notice here there's a little, there's like a texture to it that's supposed to simulate uh, a pencil feel, which is pretty good. I, I kind of like this over... Uh, Photoshop but I know there are other programs I mean I'm, I'm a little biased because again I'm using I'm I want people to get in using free software 
because uh, getting started, you don't have to spend any money, right? It's it's really not much of an investment, and the tools are really good. So this has a this does a pretty good job of, of pencil textures. If I increase the size of it, you can see the textures, right? So there's a little bit of grit, and all these things uh, for pencil textures. If I go up here to the top, there's some settings here, and you can look and see what the patterns are. So this is the pattern that's being used for the pencil textures, and those can be you can you can choose a different pattern. You don't have to use it. You can select something else. I don't know what this particular texture is. So I don't see it being highlighted. But anyway, that's that's what you can do. You can you can select you can select a different texture, which is which is great. And you can do these things also in Photoshop if you have Photoshop. Photoshop has something that's similar. And then one of the ones that I use a lot is this one, charcoal large pencil. So I really like this one because this has more of a texture to it than the pencil. I mean you can readily see it. So sometimes when I'm sketching or I've got images that I use, see even when it's smaller, you can see that texture. So I really like this one a lot. I use it a lot. And I use it especially for some of these digital paintings where I want to get more of a, a, a texture or pencil feel, organic feel to some of my work. All right, that's it for this section. Uh, in the next video, I will show you some examples of how I use those pencil textures. All right, so that's a wrap. Remember, go get Krita. If you want to learn how to digitally paint, it is a terrific software to start off with. It's completely free. I highly recommend it. And some of the new videos I'm going to be showing here in the next coming weeks, I'll start doing some digital painting examples. And like I said, if you want something that's a little bit more structured so that you can kind of follow it from one lesson to another, I've got over 31 lessons in this course for introduction to digital painting using Krita. So if you want to learn more about it, just stick around to see the excerpts in the next video. And uh, we'll see you here next week on Driven to Draw. Have a good one. I've got some exciting news. If you want to get into digital painting, I'll be launching my first course on digital painting for beginners. It's a comprehensive course that will help you get some incredible results using free digital painting software called Krita. I'll teach you the fundamentals of digital painting tools starting from the basics and help you work your way up to more advanced paintings. It would be an honor to have you join and it will help support this channel so I can continue to inspire you and help you improve your artistic abilities. Click on the link in the description to learn more about the contents of the course. So together, let's make some art.